This is a review of several slides of Euglena. Here is the taxonomy of Euglena. It's in the domain Eukarya, which means it has a true membrane-bound nucleus. Kingdom Protista, the single-celled organisms. Genus Euglena, and remember genus is always italicized and capitalized. A few interesting factoids about this protestin we call euglena. It has chlorophyll, just like a plant, and conducts photosynthesis. So it can actually make its own food as long as there is plenty of bright sunlight. In the absence of light, this protestin can eat other protists. It becomes a predator, eating things like amoeba and paramecium, or phytoplankton, little microscopic plants. It'll move using a flagella, and what is really interesting about this organism is it does have both plant and animal characteristics. Here is our first slide using the 4X. This slide is somewhat faded and I had to enhance it. And we can just see a massive number of euglena that have been preserved in this slide, but we really can't make out any detail. Here we've increased magnification. We're using the 10X objective at this point. And again, we can see some nuclei. But that's about all the detail we can see. But all of these are euglena. And even at our higher magnification of 40x, we still can't see a lot in this organism. This slide was rather faded. But we can make out a nucleus. We can see some chloroplasts. We can't seem to see any flagella, although the flagella would be attached here at these pointed ends. Here is our second slide, and this one is a little better. We're using the 4x objective. We can see this is a very thick colony of euglena. And here is that same slide at the 10x objective. And we can see these pointed ends a little better here. This is where we would find a flagella. Here is the same slide using the 40x objective. And on this slide, we can see these pointed ends where you would find a flagella. We can see a nucleus. We can see a few faint chloroplasts. This one has some better chloroplasts uh, that are fairly apparent. Now, this slide is one of our worst slides of the euglena. I only am showing it to you briefly for reference in case you happen to grab this slide and you, you look at it. Here we are at the 4x, and as you can see, this is a very faded slide, and the euglena are very tightly packed. And here's that same slide using the 10x objective, and about the only thing we can see here are a few of the nuclei. Here is the same slide using the 40x objective. I was able to enhance it a little bit. We can see a nuclei. We can see what may be some chloroplasts. And that's really about all there is. Now, again, this is a fairly poor quality slide, but I just wanted to include it so that you would have one example of all three slides we use here at the school.